Hey, hey, hey. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to turn this into this. Ah. Hey, hey, if you enjoyed that silly little clip, then maybe you'll enjoy how we actually made it using After Effects, Photoshop, and Absinthe. Here's a quick rundown to get you in the mood. First, we shot our blue screen footage and imported it into After Effects. Then, we used key light in the effects panel to isolate our subject. We exported the video with the alpha channel, and we also exported a PNG sequence of every frame in the video. With the video being shot at 30 frames per second, our whole sequence comes to about 500 PNG images. We're going to bring the exported video file to Photoshop to add the stamp effect, and we're going to import the PNG sequence into Absinthe to create the rest of our animation. In Photoshop, we simply convert the video into a smart object and add the stamp filter, then render the footage. We'll use this at the very end to add detail to our animation. Now, opening Absinthe, you'll see there are multiple places to upload files. We'll upload the PNG sequence we created as the video folder, but for the keys folder, we need to first create our keyframes in Photoshop. We select 10 keyframes from the original footage and upload them into Photoshop. Then, we paint over these pictures in a simple and uniform style. Now all we have to do is import both the video folder and the keyframes folder into Absinthe and let the program do the rest of the work. And after the animation has rendered, we just hit Export to After Effects. To complete the effect, all we have to do is combine our two styles. We'll place the stamp style over the Absinthe animation and key out the white part so that we can see the full color behind. And there you have it. One animation without having to draw anything. Because as you know, they say drawing is hard.